hey guys welcome back to my channel so today uh look at my beautiful model her name is hanush and i'll be putting her instagram handle in the description box so go show her some love okay so starting off with a toned bare face i'm moisturizing her skin and i'm using the hey honey good morning honey silk facial serum and i'm just massaging that into her skin i love using my hands for this part of makeup i just love it I will also be moisturizing her lips with a lip balm from Vaseline and I'm using a brush to just apply that. Yeah? See how cute her small lips are. Anywho, <laughs> for primer, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I'm just using a fluffy blending brush to just blend that into every nook and cranny of her skin. To conceal her dark circles, I'm using the concealer from Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And this is in shade Coral. And I'm using a flat concealer brush. This is a brush from BH Cosmetics, I think. And I'm just doing all of that. For her foundation, I'm using the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation. And this is in shade Macchiato. And I'm using a Kabuki brush to just buff that into her skin. I mixed a little bit of the Glee Melanie Mills uh, Glow. Uh, this is in Peach Deluxe. I mixed it into the foundation before putting it all over her face. I love wearing anything Glee Melanie Mills if I'm not wearing makeup. And while I'm wearing makeup, I like mixing it into my foundation. I love mixing it into my highlights and contour. I just love to glow. <laughs> For contour, I'm using the NARS radiant longwear foundation and this is in shade Teho. i'm using it to contour i don't want to do any sharp contour i just wanted to give her beautiful warmth and bronze kind of look so because the, i'm going heavy on the eyes so i didn't want to go heavy on the contour i'm using the same brush i used to apply the primer to contour like i said i don't want any sharp contour i just want some kind of blended bronzy look for this video alrighty so contouring all the normal places contouring her cheekbones contouring um along her hairline and um along her jawline her nose of course the normal places where we all contour you know and i know it so let's move on to highlight, I'm using the Zaron Cosmetics Concealer. This is in shade light. Like I said in my previous videos, this concealer is not something you want to leave to sit to get tacky because it will dry on you and you will end up looking like a bloody clown. So once you apply it, wait a maximum of 30 seconds. All right, if you need a timer, get a timer. If not, just go ahead and blend. Don't stress yourself, all right? I'm just, you just have to blend out when you highlight. You have to blend out. You have to make sure it enters seamlessly into the contour. You don't want a line between your highlight and your contour. It is not a pretty look. So go ahead and blend. Should in case you're looking at my blender and how beautiful it blends, this is not a sponsored post but you know your girl will always want to hook you up all right this is a blender from talk glam on instagram she is in nigeria she is a nigerian brand she carries this beautiful cheap but durable soft af blenders and she has them in different styles i just discovered her somehow on instagram and i've never looked back yeah <laughs> so to set the highlight i'm using the max studio fix powder and this is in shivering white and um a fluffy brush to set all the areas where i highlighted it is advisable to first of all set your highlights before you bake going ahead immediately to bake off the bat is not really a good nah it's not really uh -uh. it's not really advisable first of all set before you bake all righty so of course reverse contouring cleaning up that contour to add more definition and just to 
clean up your makeup look basically you all know it i know it so let's move on to bake i'm using the beauty by ad or is it beauty by ad beauty by ad loose powder uh this is in shade lucent it is just pure white and i love it it is not shivering white but it's white it's lucent translucent but the name is lucent and i'm just using my blender to apply all of that and baking in all those different areas Look at hairline. So to set the contour, I'm using a bigger fluffy brush and the Milani powder. This is a shade warm to set all the areas where I contoured. Basically. If you use the Huda Beautiful Future Foundation, you should know that it dries down matte. So you really don't want to go ahead with a lot of powder. You just want to slightly use powder on your face. Unless you want that heavy, heavy, heavy look, which I don't really like. I'm also like contouring the nose with the same powder, just with a cute fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. Isn't it cute? Isn't she cute? <laughs> so for brows, one of my favorite parts of makeup, I'm using a brow pencil from Zara Cosmetics. And she already has pretty decent brow hairs. So I'm just brushing out filling and that's it and after this i'll be going in with the brow gel from blot cosmetics since i got it i love it i don't use i don't do without it and i'm going ahead with the shade light coffee to just running that through her brows to give it that bleached brow beautiful brown look yeah For her eyeshadow, I'm using this um, palette by Juvia's Place. I have forgotten what it is called. Don't judge me. It is 2.25 in the morning. Please don't judge me. Okay? And I'm also going in with the same powder I used to contour to um, add more depth to the crease. Just make sure you blend. Just blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend because you don't want hash lines. Okay, alrighty. Now for this beautiful blue, <laughs> let me gist you people. So there's this brand called Luster Cosmetics. It's a Nigerian brand. So if you're in Nigeria, congratulations. Anywho, they first came out with a set of beautiful fine glitters where you don't necessarily have to use a glitter glue for them. Yeah, and then all of a sudden. They came out and hit us with this sterling pressed pig like loose pigments and at the makeup fair the abuja makeup fair that was held last weekend i couldn't just help like this particular color just jumped out i'm like yes i need this color in my life and just look at how blue and beautiful it is you don't need a glitter glue you just need to slightly wet your brush apply it and no fallout so yeah there's that and i'll also just be deepening the crease with um uh I think that was a dark pink forgotten what i used but i know it's a single shadow from colourpop cosmetics so i don't know what name it is i'll try and look for it so look find out in the description box i'll put it down below for eyeliner i'm using one of my favorite island liquid liners of all time and this is by nyx cosmetics i just totally love it it's everything for some reason it just makes your wing and everything just come out very slim beautiful and on point basically and lashes i use this lashes called this is a style ontario from beauty line it's also a nigerian brand and that's that about that and i'm blushing giving her blush i've forgotten what brand of blush i used i'll be putting it in the description box so do not fret to define her on the eye i'm using the gel liner from zara cosmetics and this is in shade jazz it is just beautiful black this is the next best thing after inglots um 77 yeah this is a very beautiful black mm -hmm. and i'll be smoking the uh lower lash line with uh an eyeshadow from anastasia beverly hills's prison palette 
it is not around me i don't know what shade it is but it is that beautiful green metallic green that's in the palette see as i'm talking about it and we're not even there yeah that metallic green oh my goodness it is so gorgeous it is so beautiful i love using it for smoky eyes so i'll probably use it in next in my next video hmm Alrighty. <laughs> so i'm using a lip pencil to do this did i say lip pencil a lip brush Ugh. i'm using a lip brush to do this for some reason i feel i i i, I understood it works really beautiful so to marry all the blush and the contour and highlight and everything i'm just slightly putting some powder on her face this is from the benai media pro palette and i'm just slightly marrying everything together to set this look i'm using this spray from um mario badescu and this is the facial spray with alloy chamomile and lavender and i'm just baiting her with a spray for glow oh yes i'm using the younger beauties candid glow uh this is in shade wow woo it it's it looks white but once you put it on the skin it gives us that gold beautiful gold uh, look like mm, it is so beautiful this camera is not doing this glow justice honestly i'm pained i'm pained on the behalf of the glow and i'm topping it up with the abh and amrezi collab highlighter that beautiful silver it just both of them just totally works and for all over face glow i'm using this beautiful beautiful hydrating facial and body glow mist by tm essentials and that's in shade angel i just love it it just gives your makeup this kind of beautiful glow <laughs> for the lips i used um this lipstick from rlg cosmetics and this is in shade burnt she has this very small gorgeous pretty beautiful lips I wanted to use something really dark to contour the lip appropriately before jumping in with lip um, colors and lip paint. <laughs> Don't mind us, we're just goofing around. <laughs> For lip paint, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, lipstick palette. And I'm using the shade number one to shade number one is a very beautiful neutral nude that I find works for almost every shade I have used it for for some reason I just totally love it So next up i'm also going in with the white it is called primary one in that same lipstick palette to highlight her lower lip oh my god that's such a bully <laughs> so to finish up this look because i wanted to gloss the lip I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty um Universal Gloss Bomb. This, but you all know how this lip gloss just makes everything better. Yeah, so I'm just gliding it on to finish up the lip. So, um, yeah, this is it. This is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this process because more videos like this will be coming your way. For this period, I'm just going to be doing makeup on other people. Meanwhile, good news. I have a new space at Wuse 2. So if you're in Abuja, you should head over to Brides and Babies Complex opposite Domino's in Wuse 2 and come in for your glam sessions. All right, conditions, terms and conditions apply. Send me a message on Instagram. That you want an appointment and um we'll talk ah sessa <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel 
don't forget to share this video and don't forget to leave your comments in the section down below all right if you have any suggestions for my next looks let me know and um thank you see you next time i love you so much and god bless you